Daniel Goleman, who is um, the psychologist who sort of helped to popularize the idea of emotional intelligence, um, he speaks about there being five key elements. Uh, number one is self-awareness. Number two is self-regulation. Number three is motivation. Number four is empathy. And number five is social skills. And, and so the idea in our context, pulling that into our context, the idea is that the more we, as the, the, like the matriarchs of our family group, the more we understand our responsibilities and understand the role that emotions play and, and the more we develop our own emotional intelligence, the better our life is with our dogs. When we're self-aware, we're just, we're better, like we're better dog moms, we're better leaders, you know, we're, our family is more stable and more resilient, right? We have a we we have more clarity about our strengths and weakness weaknesses and what like what triggers us and and then we learn how to respond to that you know what I mean and so we can improve our self awareness really by just making that as an intention but also um, you know you might be able to. Uh, uh, you might feel good about journaling, like just spend a few minutes each day at the end of the day, like writing down your thoughts and feelings and, and just from the place of um, developing your self-awareness. And another thing that can be helpful is just like slowing down when you experience strong emotions like we do. I mean, you know, hey, we're only human and things happen, right? And so when we experience you know, like anger, frustration, impatience, etc., cetera, um, just to slow down and examine why, like, like, how do I feel? And why do I feel that way? Right. And just starting to understand what, first of all, that your emotions are telling you something and to start to examine, well, what might that be? A couple of the things that help us to better self-regulate are to know your own values. So like when we know our own values, like what, like what, where you will not compromise, like this is like flat out, these values are really important to me. And, and I'm not willing to compromise on those, like for it's kind of like, like your code of ethics, so to speak, right. And so for, uh, for, um, I'm sure it's for all, or at least the vast majority of us that are, you know, that are listening to enlightened by dogs, um, for us, one, you know, we have common core values. I, uh, on some levels, right? So something like, you know, we, we would never, um, want to physically, you know, uh, hit or physically, you know, um, do something to our dogs in order to get a desired behavior. Just that I'm just pulling one thing out as an example, you know what I mean? And so, um, so to know what our values are, of course, it, values go much deeper than that. And I, this is one of the things that we do in my, like in my Brilliant Partners Academy, in my Creative Alchemy and Relationship Rehab Intensive. I mean, we dive into how, like learning more about ourselves and, um, and learning, discovering, exploring our own core values.